lawmakers on both sides of the aisle pressed the three witnesses on many different aspects of what they were saying. One interesting exchange came between Navy veteran David Grush and GOP Representative Eric Burleson. Have you seen the spacecraft? I have to be careful to describe what I've seen uh, firsthand and not in this environment, but I, I could answer that question behind, behind closed doors. Yeah. And have you seen any of the bodies? That's something I've, I've not uh, witnessed myself. I asked Congressman Burleson, Burleson about that answer and his quest for more answers just a few moments ago. Pretty extraordinary stuff, but Grush repeatedly said he couldn't answer some questions because the answers are classified. He offered to tell you and to show you what he says he knows in a secure room called a skiff. Is the committee trying to make that happen? Yeah, we are. We were originally denied that. Can you believe that? The that members of Congress were not able to get, you know, get into a skiff and be given access to this. But we're going to keep pushing. We're going to get the attorneys involved so that we can bring him into a room where, where and it, so that he feels comfortable and he's protected to reveal some of the details to us. Until he reveals the details, Elizabeth, I think that his stories are are, you know, jaw dropping. They're it's unbelievable and and i'm, I'm from missouri you got to show me yeah I, I said that in the hearing and so i just i've got to get some specifics before i can really um dig any further yeah i think a lot of people congressmen yesterday listened to especially david grush testify and were like i don't know what to make of this i mean it's so extraordinary it really is especially when he was talking about uh the, the fact that aliens have actually harmed human beings and that the whenever i asked him the question point blank you said the aliens have harmed people have they killed people he said yes and i said can you verify has the federal government killed people over this or aliens and then his response was both that to me was the shocking moment for me i i i was breathless after that yeah well two pilots also testified and they both did have first-hand knowledge they did see uaps in the air Lieutenant Ryan Graves told the committee that only a tiny percentage of encounters with UAPs is reported by pilots. Let's take a listen to that part of the testimony. Uh, I would estimate we're somewhere near 5% reporting, perhaps. So like 95% basically don't report seeing UAPs. That's just my personal estimate. 5% of pilots report their encounters with UAPs. Representative Burchette told me last night that some pilots are actually destroying video footage of UAP encounters because they fear they'll suffer setbacks in their careers if they report it. Are you gonna do something to try and stop that? Yeah, we are. I think that was one of the key takeaways from the hearing is that we need to provide some form of, some way or mechanism so that commercial pilots and uh, military pilots are able to easily uh, report information to not only to members of Congress, but to the public and, and ensure that they're not, that they're, that there's no harm that's done on their their transparency. All three witnesses testify that they believe this was a serious and is a serious national security issue. Pilot David Fravor said his squadron would not be able to defend itself against the UAPs they saw. How big a concern is that? Well, I think it's a huge concern. Um, we, we're at a place where you know, technology has has clearly made a, either a leap, whether it's through uh, access to aliens or it's our own advancement scientifically. I mean, if you think about it, Elizabeth, we now have quantum computers and this it, it began as a theory. It, it's now being commercialized. Most companies have some form of quantum computing system. We have AI, right? We discovered the Higgs boson. There's been amazing leaps forward in technology. And so one can only speculate that they some of those leaps can be applied to um, some of the things that we're seeing today. Uh, some people theorize that, that some of that is reverse engineered off of alien ships that have crashed. That appears to be what David Grush is saying, but I'm not gonna believe it until I see it. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.